In this video today, I'm going to show you how I automatically update my Serato DJ Pro music library. The application that I use is Google Drive. I used to use Dropbox, but I had so many problems with it that I had to get rid of it and move over to Google Drive. So I store all my music in the music folder on my MacBook. So this is going to be found in your user directory and then under music. So in here, I've got my Serato folder, my Serato backup, all music. Then I've got a few other things to do with like Apple Music and Logic Pro, but we're going to ignore these three things here today. So I'm going to delete these. So inside the Serato and the Serato backup folder is just all the settings to do with my Serato, all the information about my crates. And then obviously the Serato backup is just a backup of this folder here. And then inside the all music folder, I've got my genres split up. So for this tutorial, I'm only using three folders. So I've got Afrobeats, House and Remix. So in here, you can see all my music files. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up Google Drive. So Google Drive just acts as a little tab at the top here. So if I click this icon here, you can see that everything is up to date. So if I go over to the settings over here, and then go to preferences. You can see that Google Drive is syncing from one folder to the cloud. So it's syncing my music folder here. So if you have a look here at the path, it's under users, my name, and then music, which is the folder on the left-hand side over here. So you can see that um, in here, you've got 37.3 gigabytes of data, four photos or videos, and then 2,911 other files, which is gonna be my music files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how everything kind of updates automatically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Serato DJ Pro, and straight away, you can see that the icon is syncing already because something has already been changed in Serato DJ Pro. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a new crate in here called Google Drive Tutorial. And then I'm gonna just open up one of my music folders and I'm gonna just copy some of these tracks into here. So now if I close Serato and then come out of it and then I go back to my desktop, you can see that Google Drive is now syncing some files. So you can see here that it's doing a bunch of stuff inside the Serato folder. So you can see here that it's got sync, sync, sync. So basically I made a change in Serato and now it's been updated onto the cloud. So what I'm going to do now is add a brand new song into my music library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Heavy Hits and download myself some new music. If you want to get your first month on Heavy Hits for $4.99, use the code DJCB. That'll give you access to this entire record pool for $4.99 for the first month. So what we're going to do, we're just going to head over to new releases on the left hand side here. And we're going to download um, this song here. So we're gonna get the dirty version and we're gonna download this song here, radio edit, and then this song here, uh, kiss it better, radio edit. So now we've just downloaded three brand new songs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the downloads and you can see the three new files that we've just downloaded. So before we do anything, we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna head back over to our music folder. So in our all music folder, we have three folders here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Google Drive and I'm gonna show you how things look on the website. So this is my Mac mini that's been backed up to the cloud. So if I go over to music, you can see that I've got my three folders here, Serato, Serato Backup and All Music. And then inside the All Music, I've got Afrobeats, House and Remix. What we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna create a brand new folder. So let's just create a folder called New Music. And what we're gonna see here is that Google Drive is now updating. So if we head over back to the web page now, you can see that the folder has already been updated and backed up onto the cloud. So as you can see, there's nothing in here because we haven't added any music in there yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Finder, go into our new music folder, and then just press paste. Now these three files are gonna be put into our new music folder, so these are gonna be syncing. So you see the little sync icon here? This means that it's automatically being backed up to Google Drive. If we head back over to the web website now and go into new music we wait a while you can start to see that the files are being updated and then if we look at the google drive icon you can see that everything has been synced so this is how I back up my music automatically using Google Drive. Now I feel like every DJ should have this kind of solution because it doesn't require you to do anything. You literally just make the changes that you want and it will automatically back up to Google Drive and into the cloud. Now, say for example, you have just lost all your music on your computer. All you need to do is head over to Google Drive, go to your all music folder, pick whichever folder that you've lost or if it's everything, obviously highlight everything, but for this video, I'm not gonna download everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click new music and press download. And you can see on the right hand side that it's zipping up the download. And you can see here that it's just downloaded the new music folder onto my computer. I can open this up and now all these files are now on my computer again. Right, so that's how I automatically back up my music library to Google Drive. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here where I show you how I organize all my Serato DJ Pro crates. I'll catch you in the next one.